What is up my Pika crew? This is the Pika Wu and welcome to another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one's going to be a VGC match against a guy called Mega Keldeo. Be sure to check him out after the match. He does a lot of Pokemon Wi-Fi battles and a lot of Pokemon related stuff on his channel. So a link will be in the description below. If you enjoy stuff, be sure to help support him and subscribe. Anyways, let's look at the team preview for a little bit. As you can see, my opponent's using a Sand Team. He has a Trakion, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Whimsicott, Garchomp, and Latios. Out of the four Pokemon, he didn't choose Garchomp and Latios, which was pretty surprising. I thought he would bring in the Latios because it's his only counter against Breloom because Breloom's Mach Punch and Bullet Seed combination pretty much 2-hit KOs his whole team, and Latios resists both of those stab moves. I'm s because he didn't bring in Latios and the fact that I thought he would bring in Latios in the battle, I played Breloom a lot differently than I should have, but you guys will see that later on. Now on my side, I have a Breloom, Cloyster, Cresselia, Yanmega, Electros, and Chandelier. I didn't bring Chandelier or Electros. Chandelier because it gets demolished by Rock Slides and Earthquakes. And then Electros, I didn't really want to bring it because it's pretty slow. However, the ground immunity and access to Drain Punch really could have helped me a lot against my opponent's team. Overall though, I think I have the team advantage because if I play my cards right, I can pretty much take down his entire team with just one Pokemon, and that's my Breloom. As you can see, Breloom pretty much Oko's three-fourths of his team with a Fighting Gem boosted Mach Punch. But although I do have that matchup advantage, this battle came really close down to the wire. So I hope you guys sit back and enjoy the battle. So yeah, enjoy. So my opponent's going to lead off with a Whimsicott and Terrakion, as I'm going to lead off with a Breloom and Cloyster. Now looking at my opponent's two lead slots, it's a pretty standard lead combination. Usually Whimsicott goes for the beat up on the Terrakion and it activates the Justified ability four times to bring the Terrakion at plus four attack. But in this certain situation, the strategy will not work because I've got a Breloom on the field, I've got Priority Mach Punch. It can pretty much threaten the Terrakion, so I pretty much force him to go for the Protect on Terrakion, and I force the Whimsicott to not go for a beat up, and instead another support move. Turns out he goes for the Tailwind, which doubles the opposing Pokemon's speed for a couple of turns. Now on my side, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Icicle Spear just to take down the Whimsicott early on, so it doesn't do anything annoying like Encore or Stun Spore or anything along the lines of that. So, turn 1, he gets Tailwind, and I take down a Whimsicott. So now that his Whimsicott has died, he brings in the Tyranitar, which is a pretty weird switch in. I was kind of confused, because aside from getting up the Sandstorm, it really doesn't do much, and it gets threatened now by the 4 times super effective Mach Punch. So, I thought his 4th Pokemon was going to be the Latios, and he wanted to bait me into going for the Mach Punch. And so then he can bring in Latios on a resisted hit. So what my plan here was, was go for the Eichel Spear against his Tyranitar. In the case he wanted to swap out his Tyranitar and bring in the Latios. And then I went for the Spore against his Terrakion in the case that he wanted to swap out the Terrakion for the Latios. But in the end, as you can see, his team has the extra drill. So he doesn't even have a Latios. So I overpredicted there. So here, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Icicle Spear against his Tyranitar, again anticipating him to bring the Latios, and I'm going to go ahead and Spore the Terrakion again, anticipating him to bring in the Latios uh, from one of those two switch outs, but he has the extra drill out, so what should have been wise of me was just to go for the Mach Punch and just take down his Tyranitar, and then he would bring in the extra drill, extra drill would be taken down by a Mach Punch as well, and then his Terrakion would be still asleep, so then I can take down his Terrakion with the Mach Punch and pretty much just sweep his whole team with the Breloom. But unfortunately for me, that doesn't really work out because he actually doesn't have Latios, and I overpredicted, so he actually takes down my Breloom before I actually go for the Mach Punch, and that's not good at all because uh, I have the Mega and Cloyster on the field. So as you guys may know, he has an Excadrill, which has the Sand Rush ability, which doubles its speed in the Sandstorm. So this is going to be not good for my Yen Mega because that forces me to go for the Double Protect, as you'll see later on. I'm going to go ahead and go for the second Icicle Spear, which was kind of weird because the first Icicle Spear did less than half with 5 attacks, and I actually take down his Tyranitar 
in four hits with the second Icicle Spear, which was really weird with the minimum, maximum damage rolls there. So here he brings in the extra drill. The Rock Slide is definitely coming, so I have to be forced to go for the Protect. If I don't hit this Protect, that means both my Cloyster and Yamega will die, and I'll have one Pokemon left, and that is my Cresselia. And the only attacking move I have on the Cresselia is Psy Shock, and I wouldn't be able to take down the Extra Drill because Extra Drill resists the Psy Shock. So had I not gotten that Double Protect, the game would definitely be my opponent's. But luckily for me, I do get a second chance with the Double Protect. This helps me out a lot because now with the Double Protect, I have plus two speed. I can go for the Helping Hand and then go for the Hidden Power Ground and take down the Excadrill, which is amazing because it's definitely going to take down that extra drill one shot and now my opponent's got one Pokemon left. It's a sleeping Terrakion. Even if he does wake up anytime soon, I do have a super effective Psychic type hit and I'm pretty sure he really can't deal much damage against my Cresselia because it is fully defensive. So even though he wakes up here with and takes me down with a Rock Slide against my yeah, Mega, I still have my Cresselia at pretty much full health and I should be totally set because as long as he doesn't have X-Scissor and he doesn't get any critical hits, I should be fine. So he's just going to go ahead and go for the close combat and that's really not going to do much damage at all and it's going to bring him down. Uh, he's going to have some defense drops and I'm just going to go ahead and Thunder Wave and then proceed to take down the Terrakion with Psy Shock. So that is going to be the match. I am going to be able to take him down. It's going to be a very close 1-0 with my Cresselia taking down his Terrakion. So I hope you guys enjoy this battle. If you guys enjoy these VGC matches, be sure to leave a like, a favorite, and a comment. If you guys haven't subscribed already, you guys can join the Pika crew by subscribing. So this is the Pika Woo. Thank you for watching my battle, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.